We weigh things in grams and kilograms. So if you see G after a number, you know that you have a weight in grams. And if you see kg after a number, you have a weight in kilograms. So a feather is very light. It only weighs one gram. A spoon weighs about 25 grams. So you would need to hold 25 feathers to have the same weight as a spoon. A man is of course much heavier, so we weigh people, we weigh ourselves in kilograms. And an adult man might weigh about 75 kilograms. A laptop is much lighter than, than a man, but still a lot heavier than a feather or a spoon. So a laptop might weigh about two and a half kilograms, so between two kilograms and three kilograms. And a football weighs about 500 grams, which is the same as half a kilogram, because one kilogram is the same as 1,000 grams. So we need to know how to read a range of scales which can tell us how much something weighs. So how much does the cat weigh? Well, our arrow is pointing between 2 and 4, and the number between 2 and 4 is 3. So the cat weighs 3 kilograms. And the mouse is much lighter than the cat, so we can measure the weight of the mouse in grams. And this scale is a bit more difficult to read. We know that the arrow is pointing between 30 and 40, but there are a lot of numbers between 30 and 40. So how do we find out how much the mouse weighs? Well, it's pointing right in the middle of 30 and 40. And the number right in the middle of 30 and 40 is 35. So the mouse weighs 35 grams. Now how heavy is the sheep? Well, our arrow is pointing right in the middle of 40 and 50. So again, it must be the number right in the middle, which is 45. So 45 kilograms. So although the scale is labelled 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, really we can count up in steps of 5 with each mark. So we can have 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65. Now how heavy is the tennis ball. Well, the arrow is right in the middle of 50 and 60 grams, so the tennis ball is 55 grams. Now, this scale here is interesting. Although only 0, 10 and 20 are labelled, we have lots of little markings. And each marking represents 1 gram, because if we count up in grams, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and now we get to 10, and 10's labelled, so we know each marking is 1 gram. Now if we count up until we get to our arrow, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Our arrow is pointing at 18, so our pencil is 18 grams. The other way to do this would be to see that the arrow is at 2 before 20, and if each marking represents 1 gram, we can just take away 2 from 20 to give us 18. Now with the guitar, the arrow is pointing in the middle of 3 and 4 kilograms. So we have 
three and a half kilograms. Now pause the video and see if you can order these weights from lightest to heaviest. So we have 20 kilograms, 4 grams, 80 grams, 1 kilogram and 600 grams. So a gram is a lot lighter than a kilogram. We'd need a thousand grams to have something as heavy as a kilogram and all the numbers here are under a thousand. So let's start by finding the smallest measure in grams. We have 4 grams, then 80 grams, then 600 grams. Now we have 1 kilogram and 20 kilograms, so 1 kilogram is the next lightest, and then 20 kilograms is the heaviest.